I tell y'all what. I tell you what. I'll tell you what. You know what time it is. Old Satan thought he was slick. <laughs> Satan thought he was slick because you see, there's some real watchers. That's now raising up in the name of Yahuwah. There's some real watches. I'm getting ready, man. I'm telling y'all this right now. I know this is a late start for the for the western part of the world. So be it. The time is near. And when it's time to tear stuff down, we go tear it down. We go on and tear it down. Yeah, y'all getting ready? Y'all sharing this out? Let's wake some people up. People out on the on the eastern part of the world, good morning. Here is good evening. People starting to wind it down, but I'm not even close to winding it down on this one. I'm going to go in hard, probably about 30 minutes, and I'm out of here because we got a big day tomorrow. Y'all don't even know what's happening tomorrow. We're getting ready to announce it. Y'all, I don't even know if most of y'all know what just happened within the last 30 minutes. Barashit, Genesis. 50 chapters from the true scriptures, the first chapter that we translated and we started this project over a couple of years ago has just dropped on the true scriptures digital collection platform. Woo! So if you are a TSNT dot org See it up on the screen. I got it there where it says contribute now, tsnt.org. If you are a bronze package member or above, check your email box. You have already got an email with your free access code. Cost you nothing to get access to the foundations of all the scriptures. Genesis, bear a sheet. You're going to see it and read it, and you're going to get new life in you like never before. 50 chapters? We tried to get this released a couple of weeks ago. But we got so many projects going on while we're launching the most accurate translation in the history of the world. Get ready. So if you didn't get your email, y'all know what to do. Just pop an email. If you are a package holder, meaning a bronze or above package holder, you just send an email. All pack, uh, if you didn't receive, if you did not receive access code to bear a sheet, that's Genesis. Yeah, if you didn't receive your code in your email, send us an email to Info at promote the truth.com. Simple. The staff, usually within 24 hours, they'll get you back your code and then they'll try to make sure you're loaded in the package members database. Come on. We are like 188 emails go out. So that tells you how many package holders are sick and tired of being sick and tired of all this pagan nonsense. <laughs> We're tired of it, aren't we? What's going on? Let's send some shout outs before I go in. I'm going to keep this quick and concise because we got a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow, we have Operation Tear It Down. We weren't even planning on this, but Satan thought he was slick. We wasn't even planning on it. We just keep our heads down and we're in the middle of matzah, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And it's so incredible. Getting all the sin, the yeast, make sure all the sin, doing a checkup on yourself, being sure you can finish the race. We're getting it all out. We just, we, we, like, we are smack dab in the middle of it. And old Satan try to be slick, try to sneak some Easter in here. Some what? Satan tried to sneak in. I'm not even paying attention to it. Brother Nirob down in Bangladesh sent me a message. Said, can you have the staff? So I put it over to the staff 
Brother Nero said, now look, we done, we done done what we're supposed to do. We celebrated Passah. We done locked in on matzah and we're in the middle of it. We celebrated, celebrated first fruits. And this paganistic world is trying to shove some Easter into the picture. And I had no idea it was this weekend. So guess what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear it down. Watch. For a fact, we're gonna snatch some souls over tomorrow. What's up, Adam Moore in the building? Canada. Our brother Adam represent with that powerhouse super. Listen, y'all, if y'all ready, let's go. We doing a, 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 I guess you would say quasi telethon tomorrow, but we're laboring. It's part of Operation Spread, but because Satan tried to be slick, we call it an Operation Tear It Down. 10 o'clock a.m., 2 p.m., 6 p.m. Eastern, me and my lovely bride, we're going to be locked and loaded, fully equipped with the word of Yahuwah, and we're going to tear Easter down. Man, y'all saw how we went in on Christmas, and we snatched several people out of that mess. Our mission is to save as many people as possible from participating in the, the second most pagan day of the year, Easter Sunday. You see, most people think Halloween is the most pagan. No, it's not, because Halloween is just in your face. So Yahuwah said, oh, I respect that you just going to be cold. So we slide Halloween at the third position. We got Christmas in the first position. We got Easter in the second position, Halloween in the third position. We're going to tear it down. Let me go ahead. And if y'all didn't get your access code, send your email to info at promote the truth.com. They'll kick it out to you. But y'all better put your seatbelts on because you got 50 chapters. Now, the chapters are releasing the power study guides. I saw there's already five of them done that I've, I've been personally helping with. But we got this intellectual team. What I love about the power study guys is when they come out, they're very, very highly intellectual. And then I'm going to come in behind all of these over the course of the next year to two years. And I'm going to do some ripping videos. So you have these highly intellectual, and I like it because when I'm reading, I'm like, man, okay, that, that, that's a whole different level. That's expanding the scriptures to the highest highest heights. And then I come in there with this ripping sword. Man, oh man, let me get set up in here. Where's our shout outs going to? All right, I'm going to give some shout outs. Real quick, Emily Aguilar, Yahoo 44, who's that? Theo Carruthers. Listen, we got Mexico in the building. Jamie Galloway, upstate South Carolina. Brian Robertson, Fort, P Fort Pierce, Florida. Diana Casey. Diane Casey, Las Vegas, Nevada, Rush, Brian, Brooklyn, New York, Daniel Hamilton, Jamaica. Look at where we at all, already. Way up in the night. Annette Green, Indiana, Indianapolis, to be exact. Come on, man. Try to get my stuff working in here. Let's go. Hold a minute. Got some AC I got to put on in the studio. I didn't have it on. Now I got it on. What's going on, Jermaine Ford? Archella, Lisa Austin, Elisa Tenner, we got Washington, we got Maryland, come on, Minnesota, we got Randy Moon, Missouri, Amber House, Illinois, True Seekers, who is that? Put your name in, let's go. Yahoo Malik, who is that? That's Deidre Wilcott, said he wanted a 144, come on. Sweet Pete, Patrice in the building, Asheville, North Carolina, Donna Steele. Coming in, New Jersey. And that's it, let's tear it down. Y'all want to tear it down? Put tear it down in the, in the chat. Elmer, Hinko. Good morning, Elmer. We catching Elmer, he waking up. What time? Put it in the chat, Elmer. Let's show him how, how incredibly worldwide we are. Put in the chat what time it is there in the AM, Elmer. Adam said he's about to go to sleep. Wake up. We're going in welding over there. Where you at? Bahamas. Here we go. 
My wife is up in here. She know we're going in. She looked at me. I said, honey, Satan trying to be slick. Brother, I, we had our head down. We've been busy releasing Baron Sheik today. Y'all, for those, of, if you got your email, put it in the chat. Say, I got my email for Baron Sheik. Free access if you're a package holder. Come on. Who else is in here? Blake Bernays over in Hawaii. As my granddaddy was saying when he was alive, Hawaii. Over in Hawaii. Come on. I'm checking y'all out. I'm about to go in. Celeste in the building. <clears throat> Don't play with Celeste. Miss Sylvia's in the building. Don't play with her. Tyson Lee up in Alberta, Canada. Man, I, I've been all over. Hey, I've been all over Alberta. Played in Calgary, uh, Regina. Love that place. I don't know. Regina's in Saskatchewan, ain't it? Calgary's in Alberta. Love me some Calgary. Man, I had some of the greatest times ever in my life. Come on. Man, y'all got a lot of time trying to catch up with y'all. I'm not going to get to all y'all's names. I just got to go tear this down. I'm, I'm going to do it right now. Who's Yahoo daughter? Tell me. Is that Nima over in Tanzania, Africa? What time is it, Nima? Brandon Tello, the Tello family is starting to represent strong. I got a message on y'all from the staff. They said something's going on with the Tello family. Brandon, who was that in your family that came in with a bronze package like yesterday or the day before? Who was that? Come out. Don't put your email in here, Reginald. That ain't going to work. You won't be able to stay in here. You're going to get kicked out of here. Don't come in dropping your emails and stuff. We will kick you right out of here fast as fast. That's you trying to promote. Don't do that. Come on. You got to be up, boy. You dealing with Yahoo? You got to be right. Don't play no games in here. Y'all know the deal. All right. I got to get you straight, and I'm going in. Because we're going to tear Easter. Y'all saw how we tore, we tore Christmas up. We had I, dozens of people say, man, I never, I never, I stopped it. I will not do it again. <laughs> they said, I will not do it again. I said, that's what I'm talking about. Hold on. Lena, tell the team that's on Facebook. Yeah. We're going to get it. What else y'all got going? Y'all ready to get it? I'm almost there. I'm within about 40 seconds from tearing a hole in to Easter and these other pay Good Friday. Come on, mess. It's ridiculous. Y'all bear, bear with me. Hold on. All right, I'm back. <laughs> no, Reginald. <laughs> no, Reginald. Reginald, I thought you wanted. No, 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 no. I'm telling people that didn't get their code to send us an email. Don't give me your email. <laughs> Reginald, that's, that's beautiful. I just felt your spirit right there. Reginald, I, I got some love for Reginald. That's Reggie. My best friends in the world is Reggie. I just got to be, I'm telling you, man, I'm in here and I'm on the front. I'm I'm way up. That's your wife, Brandon. Your wife came in with the bronze package. I just stay on the front line. Y'all ain't got to worry where I'm at. I'm taking arrows and spears and grenades shot at me all the time. Yahoo told me, nobody can touch you without my permission. Just keep on talking. Keep telling them the truth. Keep tearing it down. Hey, if they happen to kill me, y'all know Yahoo said, that's it. I'm taking them out. I'm going to go on and bring them up like Hanuk, Enoch. I'll bring them on up. Adam said he got his email. Catherine got her email. Boy, y'all going to be tore up because y'all, hey, listen. All of y'all that got bare a sheet, because where I'm working, I just got to get these true scriptures. The New Testament, Barit Hadash, got that locked and loaded. That'll probably give me about a week and a half of breathing room before I go tear into the Tanakh again. And what I want to do is during that week and a half is get y'all an index up of all the names in bare a sheet. Because you're going to learn Hebrew. You can learn almost all of Hebrew just from Bereshit. 
Once I give you the index, you're going to probably learn Hebrew in a matter of months. How many of y'all want it? And it's going to be on the True Scriptures digital collection platform. That's the only place you're going to be able to get this. I'm, I'm going to, as soon as I can, I'm going to put the index up. Because Barra Sheet is loaded with Hebrew names, Abari names. It's loaded. It's, it's just places and names. That's why it took, but that's what made me good in, 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 in Hebrew. I, was, I thought I was good before when I went to translate. And you get to some of these books and they start running the genealogy. Woo! They run that genealogy. Y'all going to see it. Because what you're going to do is take some of your uh, pagan scriptures and you're going to be putting it side by side with the true scriptures and you're going to see the real names. But I want y'all to get the pronunciations down from the Abari language. You're going to get it. Y'all just got to, hey, just, just y'all pray for your brother. I'm going 100 miles an hour all the time. Wow. Yahusha HaMashiach, Rapture Judgment. Get rid of the name rapture out of your title because that ain't going to happen. That's a pagan word. We don't want that because you say, here I am, Yahuwah. You got to be in agreement with Yahuwah. You can't have no pagan words in your title. Some of y'all got pagan words in your name. And what you're doing is you're pronouncing destruction on yourself. I want to save you the pain. Yahuwah is not letting you come in with him with any idolism on you. You got to get rid You got to get it off of you. Get the idolism out. He hates it. So that's why I want to save y'all some time. All right, we're going in. Queen got her email. Listen, we just released Barra Sheet. That's, that's our biggest release. 50 chapters. 50. In Spanish, 50. 50 chapters. A bear of sheep. Now, y'all get in there and go through it. My team's done their best through the scrubbing. If y'all see a little tweak here, that's what I like about the digital collection because we can even do edits before we get to the big edit because we're going to be paying big time editors for the final run to make sure they scrub it, go back and forth. They're not going to understand, but they're going to get the, the gist of it. I'm going to have probably 10 people with inside the team do final, final, final runs. So we'll find little tweaks we need to make here and there because I'm just sitting out typing, looking at the Aramaic and the Hebrew words, depending on which book I'm in. And I'm just, I'm just typing it. I'm in the spirit. I am in Yahuwah. Yeah. Going in. Tyson Lee got his email. Y'all going to be tore up. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel because we're going in tomorrow. So tomorrow, 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 6 p.m., that's on the pagan month. They call March the 29th, Friday, pagan, fr pagan all over the place. We're going to create us a society that's the right way. Watch. We're going to create a Yahoo. It's going to be all new. All new. Man, that's enough. You see that, Lena? That's enough. Yeah, we got to take care. Hold on one second. Got some trolls in here. Going to tear it down. Yeah. Tearing it down. That quick. All right. See, I'm telling you, we're tearing it down. We got some people here with nonsense. You out. All right, we're going in. Look, we, we don't mess with people. We don't talk trash about people. We don't do none of that. All we do is we come and tell people the truth. And I'm telling you, in order to get rid of paganism, you got to have the truth. And once you got the truth, you can't be affected by the paganism. Y'all got that? Look at Artella says, I'm blown away. I was driving home today and Yahuwah brought the bear sheet to the forefront of my spirit. And here we are. You speak. Yes, I'm telling you. Wait till y'all read the book of bear sheet from the true scriptures. It's the most accurate translation 
in the world. That's my high level, educated, 30 plus year opinion as a scholar. I'm telling y'all. Wait, watch all the feedback that comes in the next week. Y'all going to be tore up. And then I'm going to get that index together. So we're going to get the index to where you can go in. You can look at those names. You're going to see the name that they got in the pagan version of the, of the quote, Bibles and scriptures. You're going to see the real way it's supposed to be pronounced. And then you're going to see a column that has the Hebrew letters. Y'all want that? That's what you're going to get. But I got to get time to get it. Because I'm the one that's got a person look at it, make sure it got it lined up. And that takes time. Because I got to go back and maybe I'll put somebody on the team to go pin down all those names. We all busy. We're building. We just went over 75,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Now, when we started the TSNT.org project back on November the 9th, 2023, about what, four months ago? Do y'all know we had like 13,000? members or subscribers on our YouTube channel 13 after about three years I'm telling y'all most of y'all think man is it too late to really hardly anybody knows Yahoo you are the one you're the repairer of the bridge it's you I'm telling you I've been out here like me and my wife and some of and our team We've been like the Lone Rangers for almost 17 years. I found Yahuwah. May 2007. 17 years, fam. You type Yahuwah's name in Google in May 2007, zero results. Type it in there now. You're going to see a gang of results, like thousands. None. The only search engine we can find Yahoo's name in May 2007 was yahoo.com. I don't think that's a coincidence. Y'all think that's a coincidence? I don't think so. I do not think it's a coincidence. I don't think it's a coincidence. Yahoo, Yahoo. And we got a hold, we asked some people to get a hold of Yahoo. Say, why do you call yourself Yahoo? They say Yahoo is the happiest word in the world. That's why we named our company Yahoo. That's why they named their company Yahoo. Because they say it's the happiest word in the world. Hallelujah. All right. Satan tried to be slick, but I'm going to read you the Barim, the Barim, chapter 12, verse 3. And let's see what y'all really want to do. Let's see who's going to roll up their sleeves and tear it up this weekend with us. Because I'm going to go in like crazy. Dabarim, chapter 12, verse 3. Yahuwah is saying, I'm going to go to verse 2. I'm going to go to verse 1, 2, 3. Dabarim chapter 12, verse 1. These are the laws and right rulings which you guard to do in the land which Yahuwah, your Lua of your fathers, is giving you to possess all the days that you live on that soil. Now, here's what you got to get your mind on. You got to get your mind on a takeover. Put it in the chat. Say takeover. You see, you got to get your mind on takeover mode. You got to stop thinking so passive. You got to stop thinking so tentative. You got to stop thinking so weak. It's not the weak that's going to inherit the earth. It will be the meek. The meek means the humble. If you think of a samurai, that word samurai means servant warrior. Okay? So when you take that over into Abari, Yahuwah Hebrew, he's looking for servant warriors. The Greek translations 
has got so many people weak, timid, fearful, anxiety, depression. And that's nothing of Yahuwah. Nothing. We build the team like they did when they went to take over the land. I'm rolling with that spirit of Yahusha, Joshua, that Yahusha, the one that came after Moses, Masha. He was a servant warrior. And when Yahuwah took him up on the mountain and he looked over the mountain into the promised land, there was a gang of people in there. I'm talking about tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people. And Yahusha, sign named Joshua, looked at that land. And you know what he said? He said, Yahuwah, these people are bread for us. Y'all know what that means? That means, let me go get them. I'm going to eat them up like a sandwich. He was ready to go take them out. He goes, I done built a band of warriors in your name, for your name. And guess what? We'll take the, with our numbers, not as big as their numbers, but with you and our skill set, we will tear them up. They will be bread for us. You got to decide. I'm telling y'all, do not come tiptoeing around and to promote the truth with no weak spirit. You ain't going to make it in here. We are servant warriors. Yahushua's sign named Joshua said, let me add him. You know what Yahuwah said to him? You think Yahuwah said, all right, go get him. I trust you. I know you can do it. Yahuwah says, no. Yahuwah said, no. Go research it. Go study it. He said, go back down in that field and keep working because you're not going over there until every voice of doubt dies where you're at. That's why I don't put up with no weakness, none. I don't deal with none of it. I don't deal with it with me. I don't let my son do it. I don't let my wife do it. We don't deal with no weakness. We ante up and we kick in. We're going to die. We're going to die fighting. In the name of Yahuwah. And what happened with Yahusha? Sign named Joshua. He went back down in that field. And he heard so much complaining, so much murmuring, so much weakness, so much fear. Why did we leave Egypt? Why we leave Matzah, Egypt? Why? And then guess what he did? He rent his guard. He ripped his clothes, family. He ripped his clothes. He basically said, Yahuwah, you got me surrounded. You done let Masha go on off and die. You left me in charge of these people, and you got me surrounded around a group of people who don't believe you. They don't believe you, Yahuwah. And I'm frustrated you got me hanging with these people. So I picked that up from my studies and said, I'm not rolling with no weak Doubting, complaining, negative people. Out. You come around me complaining and weak and negative, I'm going to ignore you. I'm not going to, because I know you ain't got what it takes to do this job. This is a takeover job. This is a takeover job. I'm sick of paganism. I'm tired of tolerating it. 
So guess what? The way you get it straight is you take over. And all we got to do is get a bunch around us that don't doubt. We need 144. Once we got for real, for real, 144 people in our camp, the circle in our camp, we done all been through craziness. We done all been through hell and high water. We've been trashed, stabbed in the back, talked about, sued. I mean, they done ran us over, beat us up, and we still going. 144, we still going. They talking about us, smearing us, do whatever they can. We still going. Yahuwah did not let them take us out. And we got that kind of faith. So once there's 144 around us, that's when all the voices of doubt will burn off from around us. None of us will tolerate it. We just ain't going to tolerate it. You going through a tough time? Trust Yahuwah! Or don't. Choose this day who you going to serve. You ain't got enough money? Trust Yahuwah. Choose this day who you're going to serve. Pick one. Why are you sitting there crying about something you got the power to change? So what we got here. These are the laws. Dabarim, chapter 12, verse 1. These are the laws and right rulings which, which you guard to do in the land. Which... Yahuwah, your Allah of your forefathers is giving you to possess all the days you live. He's giving us a land right now. Verse two, listen, that's the purpose of this mess. I didn't plan on going live. We got three sessions tomorrow. We're going to do a tear it down. It's all spurned off of Nirab. When you watch this Nirab, you don't want to cause this. Nirab, because see, we got the real watchman. The real, not the fake, I'm going to just talk about it, but I'm going to go live in sin, Watchmen. But you talk good words. We're not paying no attention to you. We're talking about the ones that guard the commandments of Yahuwah. And they live this thing for real, for real. They sleep this. They even dream it. Nirah said, hey, family, we done come through. That now we're faced with, right in the middle while we celebrating, and on the day that's the set apart gathering that concludes matzah, they're going to launch Easter, which is the second most pagan day of the year. And do you know who Easter is? It's Ishtar. You know who Ishtar is? It's Ashura. You know who Ashura is? It's Nimrod's mama and his wife. Put that two together. Nimrod's mama and his wife, and they had a baby, the boy that's the son of Ishtar, Ashura. Ishtar is Ashura. It's just another name. That's it. They just they give it different names and disguises, but Ishtar, which is the word Easter coming from the word, that's where Easter comes from. It's the etymology of the word. It got here somehow. Don't stick your head in the ground and go Easter just popped up in the, in the universe. English is one of the newest languages in the world. It's one of the newest languages in the world. So when you hear the word Easter, English word, how did it get here? Don't stick your head in the Greek-influenced ground, in the church pagan idolatry ground. Ask yourself, how did Easter get here calling itself Easter? Who is Easter? Easter is a pagan goddess. Fact, for real, for real, that they celebrate. And they celebrate Easter because they say that she is Ashura ascended. Ashura is Nimrod, the pagan Nimrod, who had to be killed 
by his daddy or granddaddy. It might have been no. Nah, I got it. I got to go. Let me go double check. Who killed Nimrod? Namru. Who killed him? Namaru. I think it's Namaru. That's his name. Namaru. Who killed him? It's either his daddy. Or, I don't think it's past his granddaddy. Killed him. It might have been Naha went and got him. Noah. Somebody in there close went and killed him. You want to know why? He claimed to be a almighty one on earth. And the people loved him. They went after him. They ran after him. They worshiped him. And the real ones went and took him out. They went and got him. Said, you out of here. They went and got time. Hey, I think Tammuz got killed by a hog or something, a wild boar, his son, that he had birth by his mama. Shem is, that ain't Shem. You know Shem ain't Shem, Patrice. You know Shem is not Shem. Shem's going to probably be Sham. Shem is Sham. S-H-A-M. Sham went and got him. One of the three. So Sham was probably his granddaddy. So Naha, Noah, Sham, his son. And I think his son had a kid who had Nimrod. And they went Namaru. And they went and got him. Killed him. All right, let me tell y'all what the scriptures really says. Pay attention. Because these are the laws. Verse 2, Dabarim, chapter 12. Completely destroy all the places where the nations which you are disposing serve their mighty ones on the high mountains and on the hills and under every green tree. Listen to verse three. So Yahuwah said completely destroy. Tear down. That's what he's saying. We can't go out here and, and do exactly what they did. But we got weapons. Our weapons are this internet, this communication, this passion, the spirit. See, what they didn't have is what we got and the 144 going to pick it up. We got Yahuwah living in us. They didn't have Yahuwah living in them. Are y'all ready? Hold up. Verse three, and you shall break down their sacrifice places and smash their pillars. Y'all ready for this? And burn their Asherim with fire. That means Asherah. Because they had trees in the name of Asherah. That's what the Christmas tree is all about. It's Asherah worship. And they keep it going in different flavors. And this flavor they're serving up is called East Star. The East Star. The East Star. But Yahuwah says, burn that East Asherah Easter up. And you shall cut down the carved images of their mighty ones. And you shall destroy their name out of that place. Man. Do not do so to Yahuwah your Allure. But seek the place which Yahuwah your Allure chooses out of all your tribes to put his name there for his dwelling place. And there you shall enter. Come on, y'all. He put his name in us. So we got to tear it down. That's it. We got to tear this down. A thousand percent. Not even close to playing games. There has to be a rushing, a reckoning. Let's get the 144 in place. And let's go at it. So tomorrow, I'm going to do three. Y'all remember how it was on the telethon a couple weeks ago. I did three new chapters out of the true scriptures. I'm going to do three more tomorrow. Now, we don't release bearer sheet. If you're not a, a, a package holder, you can go grab it. Ain't nothing but like $19.95, something like that. Less than 20 bucks, 50 chapters. All the power study guys coming with it and the tools, and it's, it's perpetual. 
You only pay that one time. And it's perpetual. But if you're, a, if you're a package member, you got it. It's perpetual. So here's the deal. Tomorrow, 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 6 p.m., I got it in my soul burning to tear this up. It's burning in me. And we're going to come down tomorrow, and I'm going to dial. I'm gonna, y'all, gonna, y'all probably never heard Easter peel down like this. I'm going to peel it down. I'm going to. I'm going to meticulously through history. I'm going to show you how rotten this is. And you need to get all your Christian friends. You should send the links to all of them saying, if you care anything about your eternal life, for real, for real, you should just watch this because, man, this is to this. is This passion is to save you. You're going to burn for real. You go play with this Easter, you participate. Anybody go to any Easter dinners with this knowledge, you're going into fire. I'm not going to play words with you. You can't participate. You can't say, well, uh, what's his name now? Well, my husband or my wife or my mama. You cannot participate at all. You have partaken in idolism and you violated willingly and knowingly and therefore you've trampled the blood of our Savior under your feet. You don't have no more place in this. I got to be raw with you. Yahuwah's telling me, go tell them straight so they save them from messing up with me. Yes, sir. You do not participate in Easter. You go out and have your kids Go find one Easter egg. You going in the fire. One. No Easter egg hunts. Nothing to do. Yahuwah said have nothing. He said go destroy it. Tear it down. And you cut down all their carved images. That's it. We don't mess with none of that. And we warn everybody else. But don't you come talking about Yahuwah and we catch you and somebody puts you on Facebook with a picture and you sitting over with a ham, the Easter ham. We ain't messing with you no more. Uh Uh-uh. We want the right people in here. This ain't for the faint of heart. This is for the real one. So listen, tomorrow, 10 a.m., Operation Tear It Down. If you feel led and you feel like, hey, this go time, go over and click the link, tsnt.org. Guess what? If you are not a package holder, start with at least a bronze package. Within 24 hours, the staff will send you a link. Bam, there you go. You're going to get access to all of them. There's already other ones on there. First, second, third, Yahoo Hanan, right? Hebrews, Abarim is already on there. It's already there. I think there's another one on there too. So you're going to have access to all of that. And, but each time we release a book, it's a separate cost for people that are not package holders. So you might as well just say, look, let me grab it. It's going to be at least 10. I'm probably going to put more on there. But at least 10. That would cost you over 200 bucks to get that. So you'd almost, almost be bronze. So get over there. And the whole key here. That I came on here tonight is to give the announcement. We're doing a tear it down telethon tomorrow. We're going to rip at it hard. I'm, y'all know I'm going to teach how to tear Easter down. You're going to see me do it and you'll know how to do it. I'm also going to release three new chapters, different chapters of the true scriptures so that you learn like nobody's learning at this level. Not on earth. There's nobody on earth learning like we're learning in here. Nobody. So your knowledge is increasing at an astronomical height. You want to know why? You're going to be able to shut the mouth out of every pagan in the world. I was going to give it some other act. No, it's just every pagan, period. All right, listen, I'm about to get out of here because I got to get geared up for tomorrow. Y'all get over to, to uh, tsnt.org. Make sure you got your uh, self locked in as a package member so you can get free access. If not, get over to truescriptures.info, truescriptures.info. Then you can see how to get access to all the other different ones along with now the newly released bear sheet. I'll catch y'all tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all put it in the chat. 
Tear it down. We're going to tear it down. Y'all know it.